Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to look at a fragrance from the house of the Vagabond Prince. Again, this is called uh, Bass Solo. And as was the case with Manda Warriors, this sample was also sent to me courtesy of Daver from the Fragrance Bros. So once again, thanks Daver for hooking me up with this sample. Um, there are actually two other fragrances from this house that I don't have. Uh, Enchanted Forest, I think it was one, and uh, Swan Princess. So, um... It's uh, likely that this will be the last review from the Vagabond Prince on my channel. But uh, here's the sample. You can see I still got about half of it left. Uh, it's pretty potent stuff, so it doesn't take a lot to get the job done. Uh, notes in this one. Um, first of all, it's classified as a woody, spicy fragrance. Notes are listed as, in the top, saffron, ginger, lime, and cardamom. Middle notes of lavender. Moroccan cedar wood, Virginia cedar wood, fig milk, and birch tar. And in the base, we have sandalwood, amber, driftwood, wenge accord, musk, apopinox, amorous, and patchouli. So, uh, this is uh, a very dark fragrance, as the bottle would suggest. If you've seen the bottle, a very dark bottle. Um, the concept of this fragrance is to produce something that kind of smells like the rich, heavy African woods that are sometimes used to construct bass guitars. Um, I'm not, you know, a guitarist, so I don't really know much about that. But uh, you can tell that this is a very um, exotic, woody fragrance here. You know, a lot of the woody fragrances that most people associate with are like the cedar woods, the pine, oak, stuff like that. This one, we're, we're going into the deepest to darkest heart of Africa. We're talking about uh, ebony wood and mahogany woods, stuff like that. Something called wenge, which is also a type of wood. So very dark, exotic woods. Now, something else that I should note here in my experience with this fragrance is that it actually smells kind of boozy. It has like this rum kind of a feel to it, um, which to my nose reminded me a bit of uh, By Killian's Straight to Heaven. No one else seems to make that association, which kind of surprised me. A lot of people at Fragranica are comparing this one with uh, Dolce and Gabbana's The One, which is not a very good um, comparison in my opinion, because that one had like the pineapple and tobacco. This one doesn't have any of that. You know, there, there's supposed to be some lime in this one in the opening. I'm not really even getting much lime here. It's just... Basically, a rum soaked dark African wood type fragrance. So, imagine you had like a, a, a polished, finished wood statue from Africa made out of one of those hardwoods and dipped it in rum. That dry a little bit. That's kind of what you might expect this to smell like. Um, overall thoughts on this one? Um, I think it smells nice. It's a bit rich and. Uh, Almost like opulent or exotic. Um, it smells like something that would sort of fall into the same occasions as Straight to Heaven, which would be like almost like a tuxedo and you know tie and all that fancy gala type event type smell. So I think the versatility suffers a little bit here. Um, first, I'd probably rather have something a little bit more um, common, woody. To my nose like uh, Wonderwood, something like that from Come the Garçons. But this one, it smells nice, but just a very kind of rich and opulent and perhaps a bit out of place in, in like a casual setting. So let me get into some final scores. Uh, the smell, I'll give it 7 out of 10. I think it smells nice. Just feel a little bit uncomfortable wearing it because it is so exotic and uh, high-end. Um, projection longevity. I think it's still very good, just like Land of Warriors. I'm not sure if this one's quite as good as Land of Warriors, but it's still very good. 8 out of 10. Uniqueness, 7 out of 10, or 7.5 out of 10. Um, there's some comparisons with a lot of other fragrances, but I think you know because of the use of the hardwoods in the African exotic woods, it's a little bit different from them, but not completely mind-blowingly different. Uh, versatility, I'll say 6 out of 10. You could wear this on occasion uh, as a casual fragrance, especially in the cooler months, but uh, I think it would suit best for 
very special occasions. Uh, $180 for the 100 ml bottle. Last time I checked, this was back ordered at uh, Lucky Scent, but I think you can buy directly from the Vagabond Prince website. So overall for me, 7 out of 10. It was a fun one to check out. It smelled pretty nice and exotic and everything, but uh, felt a little bit uncomfortable wearing it because maybe because it's kind of strong and exotic. But uh, definitely for a fan of the hardwoods or a fan of boozy fragrances, you might want to get your nose on this one see what you think. So that's my thoughts on bass solo from the Vegamon Prince. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.